we go. All right, guys. So, y'all have been asking. We have it. We also have two chokes that we're going to start with. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this Migra on paper with two different constrictions. We're going to see how it does. Stay tuned. All right, so first up, the easier to dive into. We have two constrictions. Now, this load is a 7 over 9s, not 7.5 over 9s. So, 7 over 9s. 7s are finicky. So, to get them to pattern, we got two different chokes. We got the old Pin Hody, 585, right here. We have the Anaconda Striker. Oh, by the way, this is True Lock. This is Pander Master. Anaconda Striker, 570. We're going to start here in my 320, and then we'll adjust accordingly. Now, this is all we have. We have one box. They were kind enough to send this to us. Uh, they, apparently, they have sold out of their 12 gauges, and their 20 gauges are going pretty quick. So our members being able to see this test early, you guys will be able to snap up the last 20 gauge loads they have if they're still there. And, but being a member, it's pretty nice. Now, the load itself, I got to say, this box, quite extraordinaire. So you got right on it here as we're looking at this together. They took their logo, added a fan to it for the turkey ammunition, which I gotta say, it's pretty simple, but it's pretty slick. But there's that. Now, this is a seven, seven over nines. Here's the actual breakup. So it's three, three inch, seven over nines, clearly. Ounce and five eighths, 1100 feet per second. Now this is the full breakup. So you got 444 total pellet, pellet count in this per average. You have 40% of sevens, 60% is nines. Now, you press this little button here, and that reveals to you more information. Now you have the original patented stacked load. Longer energy retention, tighter patterns, destructive knockdown power for higher kill ratios. That's TSS anyways. So, now we can finally get to the shells. There they are. Honkers. So they look good. They got a cool ass box. But you guys that you've watched us, you know what we're about. And that is performance. So these are this is their first go of the turkey loads, which uh, I do know they have bigger plans for next year. Now that we got all that stuff out of the way, we have the Stevens 320. Now this is a pump shotgun, it's a 20 gauge, it's real cheap. We got the Metal Creek mount on there. One thing that's new to us is the new importance. I guess people care about the triggers. So we're just gonna start doing trigger pulls in every video, just give you two measurements. Clear firearm, honest, I mean, I shouldn't have to say this, but do not check your trigger with a loaded firearm. And now, what I'll do is I'll weigh it, What is it? Three pounds, 6.8 ounces. Okay, so Moose said three pounds, 6.8 ounces. Trigger pull one, great trigger, cheap gun. We'll clear that. Now we'll take another one. Well, we'll do that again. That one was two pounds and I know that's not right. So now we'll do another one. Okay, so that one was a little heavier. Uh, it's at four pounds, 3.8 ounces. So you can tell these stock chokes, they do have a touch of difference. Stock triggers. Oh yeah, stock triggers. See, I'm so new to this whole trigger nonsense. But the average was three pounds, 6.8 ounces. Perfectly fine right out of the box. But we're gonna start doing this in every video with all our guns. That way, uh, for people who care about that stuff, you guys can see just what we're getting. Now we'll do the 570 first, Anaconda Striker. We'll shoot that right target at 40 yards, which I had an, a couple people with that federal video uh, saying that there is no way we're at 40 yards. And if that's a 40 yard pattern test, his Remington 870 with uh, something, a tight wad 660 yards. could shoot 100 yards yeah. with Longbeard XRs, fives or something. And uh, first off, if you can't tell this is 40 yards, man, you're gonna have a hard time in the woods 
Um, that being said, now this right here, this fancy device, is a range finder. This is down here every single time, and how we do these things is the front where the choke lies, we range the target, which this is 40 yards to the tip of the choke. Every single test, we've done... Plus or minus an inch or two. Yeah, we've done uh, over 600 pattern tests. We got it figured out where we need to be. We pretty much know already before we check, but we always check. Now, to what we care about, it's the patterns. We got Migra seven over nines. We got a Stevens 320. We know what the trigger weighs. We know we're at 40. Whew. Finally, we can shoot some paper. This is your blown out chair. Moose, this chair is- Just the back. Huh? Just the back. That's how low this thing sits? That's right. S Stevens 320, pump 20 gauge. We have an Anaconda Striker 570. We have the Migra 7 over 9s, stacked load. We got our Ear Pro in, range found to the tip of the choke. Let's hammer them, right target, right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm on. Okay, good. <laughs> Looks like we did dirty things to it. We'll know in a minute, but now clear firearm. Once again, things you should not have to say in a video, but we have to. Uh, never change your chokes with a loaded gun. That just invites bad things. All right, so now only difference, we have the True Lock Pinhoti 585 in there now. Same load, same gun, same range. Ear pros on. You're good. I'm good. That, sh that shot way different. Shot high right and the other one was low. That's well, that's why you gotta. That's why you have to zero with what you hunt with right there. 100%. We get a lot of people that say that's not true, but zero with what you hunt with. Before you go afield, make sure you're zeroed. And if you ever are in doubt, confirm. Because at the end of the day, you, if you hunt turkeys, you ought to respect them. You should bring your best setup and know everything about its sound. Guys, let's go check them out. All right, so before we put the circle on, I had a lot of people asking if they could see the targets first. So now that we're marking everything in black because it shows up better uh, in and outside of the BCO-12. Now looking at this, this is the Migra 7 over 9s, 20 gauge. Stevens 320. This one is the True Lock Pinhoti 585. And you can definitely tell without the circle that this is going to kill your birds because there's your circle. And look at this right here. Absolutely snood smacked him. Cut it right off. Oh, snood <laughs> he, right off. He ain't even got a snood no more. We smacked that right out. Ear hole annihilated. Oh, finally an ear hole. Eye tick done. Bird slap, as Moose calls it, done. This turkey is completely smoked. What about the feet? I think I didn't get them. His feet is down here. <laughs> but anyways, you can see uh, both ways, drawing a circle or not. If you can't tell, that's going to kill you turkeys, you know. But we are going to draw this. Just wanted to show you it real quick. We'll analyze the pattern in a second. Just want to show both with the targets on. You can see that this did not work this was the anaconda striker 570 clearly it was a little bit too tight for those seven over nines in my 320 as you can tell once again not good. if you don't have if you don't care about your full pattern and you just care about this that's not good because you need to care about everything going on now the time comes in we're going to take targets off, draw our circle around the core, mark every hit we haven't marked yet, and uh, we're going to have arthritis for y'all pretty soon here. This is a lot of hits every single test, so let's get right to it. All right, so we did the circle thing. Now, this is a BCO 12-inch circle. This is the True Lock 585. Now, you can see here, you're going to have to pan around, buddy. Damn it, I just wanted to zoom in. No, nope, you're going to have to pan around. You got to do your job. Okay, so you can see, first thing is always what we care about, flyers. You got a couple over here. 
You have a couple down there, a couple on the outskirt of the pattern, a couple up top. But for the most part, this seven over nine, sevens and nines blended together make for a really tricky uh, situation. You got to be able to open your choke up and be okay with that. A lot of people want to shoot those tight chokes. It's not going to work well with these. You might get cool cores, but you're going to have insane flyers. Open that choke up. This 585, you can see here in this 12 inch circle, it's absolutely peppered. And guys, sevens are huge for TSS. So they are putting a hurting on them. That's what's going to hit that turkey first. The nines are just going to fill in after. The sevens already hit the mark by the time they show up. So that's going to reek them right there. Not wreck them, reek them because that's sevens. That's a big TSS pellet. And you can see here with the 585, it covered this BCO 12 inch circle perfectly. I mean, you got a couple voids, they're minute. Then outside of that, you have a ton of shot just outside that 12. I, one would say maybe a 16 inch circle and you would have predominantly most of this load in it. So this, for that load style, which I hope going forward they they make 410, 28, uh, as long with, along with 20 and 12, but I hope they get away from the sevens over nines personally. I, I, that's fine to offer it, but I think if you offer straight nines, or even if you want to blend, do eights over nines in 28, 20, and 12, and then straight nines, straight tens for 410, you're going to make a lot of money. I mean, it, it just, if you want to stack loads, those seem to be really good. These sevens over nines, we've tried them, they're really finicky, but that's outstanding for this load style. Now, we'll just do it now. Moose, if you want to zoom in on the BCO12, get it so they can see that whole fine circle. So now if you want to count, Brock Granger seems to be the man in charge of this operation. He has counted on like every single pattern. My hat's off to you, brother. You're saving a lot of people. You're helping us save a lot of people a lot of time. They can see what's going on, and you're just counting away like a fiend. I love it. So you can screenshot, or Brock will tell you how to do it because he's got it down to a science. This is the Anaconda 570. Now you can tell here real quick that 15 thou of constriction difference really put a hurting on this performance. Sevens are really finicky. You start getting too choked down, you're going to get a ton of flyers. It's going to spring that shot string. It's putting too much stress in there. Now you can see, moves just real quick. If you are one of those people that only care about your circle, you look at your core, your nice 12 inch circle, and realistically there are some minute voids. They're slightly bigger than the 585. There is less shot in it, but you would see this and be like, sweet, I'm killing turkeys. Now look at what you need to focus. You need to know this. That full pattern matters. It, you have to know it. Because at 40 yards, you got two birds coming in, and you drew out yourself a nice 10 inch circle, got a hell of a count in there, and then you bring this to the party, you're killing two birds, man. You gotta know your full pattern. This is extremely important to see this. But this pattern right here is what the issues with seven over nines are. They're too finicky. That 585, a 590 Black Mamba would probably be even better. This, you get under that, you're gonna have these crazy flyers all the way around. Now, I'm not saying it's terrible because your BCO 12 is caked just outside of it. There's a ton of shot there. It does give you a ton of leeway, but when you take, I would not choke this down anymore. I would, I would live it at 570 to 590 to even a stock choke if you have one that's a little bit bigger. Um, and you'd be hammering birds, but this right here, you could kill turkeys all day long. If you kill them under 30, you're going to have great leeway. Uh, but the issue is flyers. You need to know that full pattern, guys. It, it matters. I mean, that tells you right there. But needless to say, uh, I'll have Moose zoom in on this, this one right here. Once again, this is the Anaconda Striker 570 with the Migra 7 over 9s, ounce of 5.8s. 40 yards with the Stevens 320 and Brock's probably going to beat you to the, the pellet count 25 dude's a machine no <laughs> it's not 25 I can tell you that guys there's a lot of people that would just focus on this right here this 10 inch circle zoom out moose if you focus on just this 10 inch are you showing the full pattern I've got well, all of it 
I've got pretty much all of it. Zoom out more. I'd have to go. Yeah, zoom out more. I'd have to show the whole pallet. Okay. Can they see it? They'll be able to see it. If you focus on just this and your 10-inch circle count and you forget about all that, you're looking at a tenth of your pattern, ladies and gents. So please, I, I get the circle. I understand. You're going to have to zoom out and pick her up. Gotcha. I understand the pellet count's cool. I guess we don't count. We never have, never will. Um, we don't. You don't need to to kill turkeys. You can tell just real quick here, just by looking at them. That that drived. It did well. This didn't. You don't need to count the pellets. That's just. You need to care about your full pattern, though. If 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 you want to count something, I would go as far as to say count voids and flyers. That's going to tell you what you need for an ethical shot on a long beard. If he's working in by himself, that's different. But if he's got three toms with him, two toms, a bunch of Jake's hens, I've seen some YouTube videos where people shoot in between a lot of birds tight, and it just ah, it makes me cringe. Just You need to know your setup. You need to know what you're working with so you can give them the ethical shot they deserve. We need to give them our best every single time we go out because turkeys are the best thing in this world, period. Are they deserve our best. That's why we film all these pattern tests, to not push anything on you. We don't care what brands or of anything, guns, chokes, loads, reflexes, camo. Don't care if you hunt in blinds. Don't care if you don't. Don't care if you use decoys. Don't care if you don't. We just want you guys to enjoy the turkey woods, have success, and have... There's nothing like a morning when it all goes well. I don't give I don't give a crap how you do it. As long as it's legal and it's ethical, I'm for it. That's how it should be. Support everyone. Know your full setups before you go afield. Do your best. Give them your best every day. Guys, as always, smash that thumbs up button for your boys. My nose is running because it's 20 degrees in freaking New York again. We got snow on the ground. Yeah. Spring started this week, by the Spring way. Sprung? Spring sprung four days ago and we got a blizzard so <laughs> welcome to new york anyways merch in the description check it out we got the make sense comment again shirt just dropped we got all patterns matter just dropped uh we got a bunch more designs coming moose has got some in the works for deer as of yet and hawk's got a couple for turkey so we're trying to get as many on there as we can check that out the membership to view all these tests early also down there those are the two best ways to support the channel. But if you're new, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you thought of this test, what you thought or what you want to see these in, all that fun stuff. We got so much to do. I'm rambling. We got fur tens to shoot. Guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and as always, we'll catch you on the next one.